This is just a review on the XTM drawers we bought from BCF. We find them really good and sturdy. We've got our 70 litre fridge sitting on there and we find that the fridge slide, just, there's just no effort to it. It just slides, as you can see, good. We've also got the chopping board, which we find really handy when we go away. And just like just man, beach trips and stuff like that. And when you open, oh, it just, it just clicks in, you can open the drawer up, it runs on bearings. And as you can see, it just slides, yeah. Yeah, so we just keep all our recovery gear in here, bits and pieces, and we will be putting like a picnic setting there as well. But you can put whatever you like in there. And also the false floor I put in. Um, we've had a few people just question. So do you want me to tell you the question? Yep. So we had three people, and they pretty much the, all the questions were um, about the way you bolted the drawers, yep. uh, the drawers and the flooring. So before we go further, I'll just drop in what you filmed underneath. Yeah, drop it down, yeah. Okay, so hang on a minute. So these are the two holes I drilled. This one, and this one over here. And they hold down the drawers and the false floor. The reason why I didn't use the child restraint ones, because they just didn't line up. I couldn't get the drawers to line up with any other hole in the factory, factory bolt system. So I just decided just to drill my own holes. It was easier. But when you do drill holes, just make sure you don't obviously drill through your pipes and your, you know, all that sort of stuff. So we got, did we drill the drawers into the false floor? Did you bolt the false floor to the existing holes of the Bajero? I've got to say, a couple of people said that you're a genius and inspiring. Oh, so, okay. oh, John. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, to just explain. Yeah, so we made this up, as you can see on the other videos. I, I just laid this straight on top and I just drilled it straight through the car. Yes, yeah, so I go straight through the metal of the car. There's three bolts, one there, two underneath the drawers. And I thought that was enough to hold the whole lot in because it's not going anywhere. So when you open the drawers up, it won't it won't topple out. It's 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 solid as it's not going anywhere at all. Alright, another guy just just asked and he said it's a legitimate question, but he yeah. just asked yeah. why do people mainly put the fridge on the driver's side so i don't think we can answer for other people but no, just but why did we do it for our setup obviously the doors on this side it's a lot easier to access i like seeing the what the temperature so the uh, displays there yeah the, yeah the what the setting is and for us as you can see when we open it up it's just easier for us to get into like that where if it was on this side it'd be a bit difficult and also we have five grandsons and we have a child seat in the back yeah. and that just suits our system our setup a lot better yeah i, I can't say that. i've seen too many people put on the passenger side but uh, it's really each to their own isn't it yeah but that's just works for us yeah yeah so um just let me just check our questions oh that um xtm draw yeah it's 30.7 kilos yes yeah, so that's it is quite they're heavy, heavy drawers it is but they're well built yeah, and I can't remember what the fridge was to put that combination of weight in. I think the fridge was in. around 30 kilos as well. Okay. And I think it said it held about 105 cans in both, okay. both compartments. So, I think that's it. That's it. That's it. So, yeah. But also, I'll just quickly. Yeah. Oh, mount, yeah. I've just mounted my, my compressor so I can pump the tyres up. And I do have to put another hatch on the other side so I can get to the, the battery. So that's that's it. But we, we really like we really like the setup. Yeah. For people, I mean, we didn't know what we were doing. No. So, oh no, I remember there was one other question, and a guy asked if we had a diagram of that floor with our dimensions. Okay. No. So what I did, I just I just um, made up a cardboard template. I put, think we used the um, the fridge box, the fridge box, fridge yeah. box, didn't we? Yeah. Just put it on the ground and just yeah, just cut it out and just just did it like that. It's quite easy if you use a cardboard template. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, thanks guys for watching. If you can, please like and subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel. Yeah, the more we get, the more likes yeah. and subscribe, them, the more, I don't know, YouTube yeah. analytics sort of um, promote our videos. So. And I do want to do a whole walk around the whole car as well. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye, thank you. Yeah. I'm just nervous. I don't know. <laughs> don't be nervous. Okay, go. Just an update on the X10. Okay, we're just answering a no. <laughs> okay.